On Tuesday, March 30th, Virgin Galactic unveiled VSS Imagine, the newest member of the company's fleet, which is set to begin ground testing and glide flights this summer at Spaceport New Mexico. The VSS Imagine is the first of the Spaceship 3 class of spacecraft. The new vehicles have a modular design that will speed up the manufacturing and assembly process and also help maintain the ships more effectively and efficiently. Providing quick turnaround times will be crucial to the company's business. Until now, Virgin Galactic has been working with the lone VSS Unity. The addition of Imagine marks the beginning of an actual fleet. If anything is inspiring imaginations on the new vessel, other than the prospect of space exploration, it's the highly reflective chrome effect livery. According to founder Richard Branson, engineers originally specified the reflective chrome material to provide thermal protection from the rocket motor's heat. Now, I understand that it serves as a metaphor, changing, adapting, reflecting whatever environment it is in, as well as the, quote, transformative experience of spaceflight. But I feel like it was more of a conversation that started with someone saying, you know, it'd really be cool. After work on VSS Imagine is completed at Virgin's California manufacturing facility, the mothership will fly it to Spaceport New Mexico, where it will begin flight testing later this summer. Next, the team will resume flight tests with VSS Unity, with the next one scheduled in May. Subsequent flight tests will be crewed, including a flight this summer with a crew of mission specialists who will analyze the interior cabin experience. Later this summer, Richard Branson is expected to join a crewed mission. When VSS Imagine begins ground testing, manufacturing will move on to the VSS Inspire, the second Spaceship 3 class vehicle. The company will need to scale up its fleet as it targets 400 flights per year per spaceport. Though, right now, they still have the lone spaceport in New Mexico. The International Civil Aviation Organization, the United Nations Aviation Agency, recently requested new space tourism regulations within the next five years. As spaceports and suborbital flights become a reality, and the number of spacecraft capable of carrying out such missions increases, the industry will require an updated regulatory framework. For Thomas, I'm David Manti, and this is the Thomas Industry Update.